Before uh, doing this project, uh, I didn't know much about Intimate Apparel um, because I just brought the Intimate Apparel from the market and it's already sold in a complete form. The challenge of teaching this subject is that it is heavily loaded with technical information. It is boring to teach and it is difficult to learn. Students, of course, complain a lot. They found that it's a lot of work to do. To engage my students in analyzing the materials, I asked them to set up a mini library to categorize different materials based on their functional performance. At that time, we need to make a prototype of material library. So we need to know all essential materials in an intermediate apparel. Apart from the document part, we also need to make this um, mini library to show um, how the system works. So it involves a lot of time and our effort in it. In this project, Four or five students work as a group to design and develop a material library with a user-friendly filing and searching system that can be used by the sourcing team, designer, patterners, technicians, and merchandisers. They are required to explain the library system in a written report and build a physical library and demonstrate the system in an oral presentation. I it should be between the design development and the sourcing development. Yes. Actually, I think it's quite challenging because uh, we are not only to organize the materials in a very systematic way and also we have to make some codes of it. We have to think in a company way how it organized. It also requires our art and craft skills also. At the end, students' work will be assessed by a panel composed of different users from the sourcing, designing, technical and merchandising teams. This project requires students to build a real and practical library, which are similar to those used at the work pace. When they design the system, they need to consider the needs of different users. When they categorize the materials in the library, they need to analyze their characteristic and functional performance. This mini library is showing how a real company, um, they are having a library for the designer the merchandiser and different um, employees to use. So um, we, when we are doing this project, we need to think of uh, in a user-friendly way um, how the user can use this library in a convenient way. They have to spend time outside the class actively searching information and study different kinds of material on their own by engaging students in the task pertaining to the intending learning outcome. This project helped them achieve the outcome effectively. From this project, I know how a good uh, feeling searching and coding system helps to increase uh, employee productivity um, because the employee can find what the material they need in the shortest time. After we have finished this project, we know about how they organize the materials and how they classify it, especially when I have the internship uh, last summer. It really helps me a lot. We have a deeper understanding not only on the fabric but also uh, know more about the accessories such as hook and eye, ring and slider. Because this is a very big project in, and the time is very limited and all we start is from zero. We need to source all the uh, material sample by ourselves and to develop a user-friendly coding system and 
we need a lot of discussion and research to do this project and you can see uh, this project involves a lot of creativity and our organization. Almost like the middle of the pro project, uh, they found that the information they found uh, is very useful for the project and for the learning. So they start to discuss by themselves. Um, and by weekly uh, progress report, they sometimes they know they are left behind for other students, so they will work hard. If those students, they already work very hard, um, they will find that to try to improve during the meeting with me. So I, I think that um, this group project uh, provides them a lot of uh, self-learning motivation, which is very good to them.